Hey, yo, Detroit man, what's good? Welcome to DDS, the voice of Detroit. Today we in the building with Davion, one of Detroit's biggest and youngest fashion designers, owner and CEO of his own company, Money Made Apparel, all at the age of just 17. Talk to us. What's good, baby? What's the word, man? How you doing? Good, good, good. First of all, it's a pleasure to have you. Um, I know I'm inspired by your story. Um, and we hope to, uh, by the end of this video, inspire some other youth in Detroit. Right, right. Okay, so, so now let's go over a little background history. So now, what got you into fashion design? Honestly, like, I always loved fashion since I was younger. It was like, but I, when I was younger, I used to get jobs from uncles and aunties and stuff and spend all my money on fashion. I realized these these owners of these big brands, races as hell, everything. So it was like, I'm like, why not start my own? You feel me? I always love art. So it was like, why not? Let's try it. It was like, it turned off and I ended up liking it. So it wasn't even like, it wasn't like I planned it out. It was just like, I just ventured out and tried, honestly. That's what's up. That's what's up. So now, <laughs> how old were you when you knew fashion was your calling? Honestly, it wasn't when I first started, honestly. I ain't gonna lie. It's just like probably probably when I was 17, because I just turned 18 this past Sunday. So when I was 17, I knew like, all right, this this is what it's about to be. You feel me? <laughs> there ain't no bad time. So it was like when I turned 17, I knew for sure. But like before that, I was always spectacles, spectacle. So it was like 17, I knew for sure. Like, yeah, this this what it is. That's what you knew you had that dedication, <laughs> what you wanted to uh, you know, put your work into. Okay, so yeah. now, what do you like most about fashion design? What's the upside of it? What, I mean, what keeps calling you to it, waking you up every morning, and keeping you motivated? Honestly, the fact that you never stop meeting people, you never stop. And there's so many different ways to do it. Like, it's never one way. Like, it's never a wrong way to do it. I can make baby bibs and still be a fashion designer. I can make... You feel me? Socks. I can I can do anything I want to do. Like it's never it's never one way to do it, or it's never a wrong way to do it. That's what I love about it. Like there's nobody can that can tell you be like, okay, that's not fashion design, or that's not this and that's not that. I I do what I like and I do what I want to do. So, Indeed. That's my best. Okay, so now, what do you dislike most about fashion design? Uh, what frustrates you the most in the business? <laughs> Honestly, I want to say it's hard. It's hard to say because, like, around the time when I started, it was kind of a wave to start a clothing brand. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So I I can never talk down on somebody like you know the younger people to be like uh, I'm gonna start a clothing brand because they see the money and how how it comes exactly because that's how I found my passion in it because it was just trying it. Yeah. So basically, I say. People that just steal other people's ideas and make it their own. You know what I mean? No, it's not. one thing to take somebody's stuff to and for inspiration. But when you take it, copy and paste and throw it on your own, like that's not that's not P, bro. That's <laughs> not you. Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> real. Okay, so that's now <laughs> so that ain't it. <laughs> okay, so now what hurdles did you have to overcome while growing your company? Um, honestly, just budget, budgeting and making sure. Because I started it all with my own money. Uh, my mama, she gave me a cricket machine and a heat press. And after that, it was my own money. So just making sure I had money to keep flowing into my business. I had to pick up a job so I can have steady income, you know. Yeah. So it was like yeah, really just, just finding like time management and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, a lot income. of people don't understand that the boss, in his first five years of starting the company, he mainly just spent it. Uh, everybody just hear that word boss and think he getting all the money immediately. Right. It's going to take a while. The, the, the boss is the guy who has the vision and the boss mm -hmm. to invest in himself. Um, right. So now... You got to get that ball rolling for sure. Like. <laughs> no doubt. No <laughs> doubt. Now, yeah. I know you're a full-time student also. So how do you balance work and running a company full time? 
when when I don't have to work, well, let's say I meant to say school. My bad. Now that we're gonna throw the work in there too. How do you balance yeah. school, work, mm. and running the company full time? Honestly, school, you know, already school Monday through Friday. I try to keep my homework in the week. I don't try to let it milk over into the weekend. So yeah. homework week, I work. I, I'm ha I'm part time, so it's not. I'm not working every day. Okay. So, but when I do have to work, I just as soon as I come home, I just pack my orders. Hopefully, I'll be in the bed by one a.m. You know, <laughs> if I don't, you feel me. I catch up. You know I mean? I catch up with the sleep. But other than that, like if I don't gotta work, I just come home, do my homework I gotta do, pack orders. Just, no, doubt. Just. no doubt, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Now uh now your dedication and commitment to your craft is amazing. And um Thank you. I think you got what it takes to take your company to the top. Now the question is. How do you stay focused with so much going on around you? Uh, from the streets, peer pressure, so many opportunities to go the wrong way and make a quick buck. How do you stay focused and grounded? I don't even know if I could like put it in words. Honestly, it's just like the type of person I am. Like, I never really been like the be in the crowd type of person. You feel me? So it's always been like I just been at home. Okay. Really, I always been in the shell, so it's like a couple friends. That's cool, you know. I go out to my friend's house, but other than that, I don't go to parties. I don't do none of that. So it's like it's easy to to stay on my zone. Really, honestly, you feel me? No doubt. I asked you that question because I know it's a lot of other young people out here that have dreams that get uh -huh. sidetracked with bullshit and don't have it. You know, never really put it in motion. So I just wanted the youth to hear that from you. What it is going to take to make it. Okay, so now, hold on. So what's the future for your company? What can we look forward to, and what's your end goal? Man, we can look forward. For Money Made, it's a whole lot of stuff coming. It's like, even the stuff I ain't even started thinking about, it's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it a brand for everybody in the family. It's not the younger folks. It's gonna be knitted sweaters. It's gonna anything you can think of. I'm gonna do it in these next five yeah. years. I can probably. Do it. But soon I'm going off to college soon, so that's in. I'm going to college in Ohio, so it's like okay. I just want to build my build a brand out there. You know, meet a lot more people. Yeah. Just continue to build. These next couple of years, I'm gonna to continue to build. Okay. Feel me? That's about that's it, it for real. No doubt, no doubt. Okay, so now, how do you feel? Your story can reach the youth in Detroit. How do you feel it can motivate the rest of these niggas? You said how how can it motivate? Yeah, how how do you feel your story can, you know, uh, motivate the youth in Detroit? What can they take from this story, and uh, maybe get themselves in motion, and, and you know, uh, in a positive track? Right, right. Um, honestly. A lot of my hardships I don't share with social media, in which I feel like I sh in the, what I had hardships I had in the past. I'm gonna start sharing them more because like it it brings out the the purpose. You know what I mean? It's what it's like. I want to motivate people to. I know it sounds cliche, but don't give up, bro. It's gonna be a whole bunch of bumps in the road. It's gonna be a whole bunch of potholes. Everything as long as you don't give up, it ain't nothing nobody can do to stop you. Oh, you your biggest enemy, be honest. So you you in competition with yourself before anybody else. 100%. So as long as you get your your grind together, yo, whatever you doing, no matter whatever you doing, no matter if it's working a job, as long as you do whatever you got to do, bro, you gonna get what you looking for, honestly. Oh, so God. it's like oh, I wanna I wanna show that I wanna show that. So I'm gonna start sharing my hardships more. I'm gonna start sitting down talking to people. I'm starting a YouTube too. So I'm. Gonna, Started sharing a lot of that stuff. Because in the past, I I wouldn't say I was embarrassed to share. But it was like some of the hardships I was facing. It wasn't like, it wasn't it wasn't big enough to, you feel me, stay on the yeah. subject. Like, you know what I mean? So it was yeah. like, I got over it soon. By the time I got over it, I'm on to the next thing. Yeah, I already know. You very uh -huh. wise behind your year. I'll tell you that. All right, so Thank now. You. So now this is what I want to ask. I don't know if you prepared. Are you prepared to show us some merch right now? 
Yeah, I am. Okay, okay. You so said yeah, it's pre recorded. Yeah, it's pre recorded. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, all right. I, I can show y'all a whole bunch of unreleased stuff. All right. We're just going to stay following you. We're going to stay following you. You know, this DDS. This the real Detroit shit, man. We don't do it. We try not to even do no editing. This the right, real feel, uncut shit, man. I feel you. I just, you know, I just had a fashion show, so uh, I got a lot of this stuff already out. So it's like, it's why not? Well, you want to see hoodies, shirts, what? Hoodies, shirts. Just show us what you got. Um... So this is some, it's not one of my best pieces, but this is one of my favorite ones. Okay. Um, Are you familiar with Braille? Yeah. So this is money made in Braille. Okay. I don't know if you can see the little dots. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this, this money made, it's one of, it's, I, it's my first time doing something like this. I did it for the fashion show. No doubt, that's fine. That's another one. Another one going just me going off the of college's thought process of university college. Money so money made, made university. <laughs> Fire. Twenty twenty two. That's when I started my brand. So yeah. Okay. 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 That's what's I up. Show you about. Thank you. Oh, this one for the ladies. Okay, ladies, pay attention. Pay attention. This is a very simple one, though. Hold on. Okay. It's, okay. It's a pink design with lightning bolts, pink money made, pink. No doubt. It's very simple. Oh, I got I one more for you. Simple and heat. Now, <laughs> the most important question is how can we follow you and how can the people buy the merch? Where can we shop at? On Instagram, my, my clothing brand page is mm apparel underscore Detroit. Everything you need to know in there. That's the page I'm most active on. Okay. Uh, my link in the bio to purchase anything. You can DM me, ask me questions about anything. I'm very, very no active. Doubt. You know, I got zero open messages, so I'm very active on the ground. <laughs> so, Doug, tell them one more time. And now when, when we get this video up, I want you to come back and drop your link in the comments. That's, mm -hmm. that's going to make it even more easier for y'all to go find them and spend some of that money, Detroit, on some of this hot shit with, with some of the one of the hottest designers in Detroit. So tell them one more time yeah. where to find it at. Where can we shop? On oh, Instagram, mmapparel underscore Detroit. No doubt, no doubt. I want to thank you for coming on. Uh, like I tell you, I want to thank you for your contribution to Detroit, uh, uh, for changing the, the you know the motion of Detroit and doing something positive. I hope that this video promotes positivity for, for everybody else out there to follow their dreams. And like I said, I want to thank you for coming on, man. Uh, I'm proud of you. We salute you. Thanks again. Thank you, bro. No doubt. Money made. Y'all know what it is, baby. <laughs>